Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. My name is Geralt and today we are going to continue with this USA hard mode playthrough. In the last episode we set up this beautiful construction material production system. We are currently delivering stone to it. We just passed the new tunnel. And today we are going to continue with very exciting things. But first I would encourage you to smash the like button below the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to follow the series with me. Now, let's go for it. Let me present to you the things that I have planned to do in this video. I know you have been expecting it, but basically after finishing up this uh, connection to Canada and to the north of the country, we are finally going to build the distribution center here. A few things to note. I actually decided that this station was a mistake. I will have to move it over here. It makes much more sense because it will be able to connect to Chicago and then also be able to connect to the distribution center and to the rest of the rail network. A few things that I will have to keep in mind for the distribution center. It needs to be able to connect obviously to Pittsburgh but also we will have to have a line going this way so that we can connect to the other distribution center and exchange goods between the two and yep I think that's it without uh, further ado let's jump right into it okay guys so you can see that Toronto station is already built up ah yeah I also added the bulldozer plus plus mod it's very helpful as you will see right now very quickly i can delete big amounts of uh, rail or anything else that's necessary it saves a lot of time especially now that the game is lagging a little bit and deleting each segment just takes forever so yeah i'm uh, i deleted this uh, old setup because um, a few reasons first obviously it's a little bit different now uh, the position of the station the connection was uh, made previously for the previous position and also bridges have to be straight man if they are going to be realistic you know so yeah as you can see i already built the the bridge straight now i'm going to connect the bridge to the rest of the infrastructure as you can see here i really wanted to uh, save the tunnel um, but not gonna happen because the bridge now uh, is in such a position that the turn is just uh, not realistic not fast and it's just not nice here you will see me like choosing how i'm going to do the tunnel i think it looks really nice again and yeah building the parallel track and i think it looks amazing yet again with a straight bridge this time which makes much more sense <coughs> okay now with this out of the way next step is the distribution center of course the first thing i want this goods factory to be connected to the distribution center so i'm going to extend uh, an arm of like 45 degrees more or less to see where i can put the station uh, reasonably so that it uh, connects to the goods factory so i was uh, thinking how exactly to place it so that it makes sense and basically chicago to pittsburgh is going to be a main line so it has to be kind of in the middle you will see here that I grab a uh, six um, terminal station, which was a mistake. You will find out that I realized that soon because it a long time passed since I built the previous distribution center and I guess I forgot how I built it. So you will see that I'm trying to extend it now, but it turns out that I can't uh, do it in this way because uh, it considers the middle of the station, the middle two terminals of the station that I placed and I could have went with that but i decided to just delete it and just place uh, one uh, sorry three terminal station in this case i think i chose in the end and then build from there uh, in more or less the same place of course yeah so i click three here and i'm going to place it now and yeah that's it it's a little bit tilted to uh like get both connections uh in a way that it's going to be reasonable and it's going to give me some space i could have tilted it a little bit more i think and it's still going was going to give me 
uh, even a better experience later when I uh, was connecting uh, was connecting to uh, to wait it's not Toronto it's Detroit here I think yeah uh, and yeah and here you will see me building up the distribution center on one side now we're going to do the other side this is uh, pretty straightforward just uh, put the trucks put the platforms um, do this three or four times and you're done with it it's not very difficult to accomplish um, yeah and I'm not going to finish up the station in this episode I think because it's I, I don't think I'm going to use it I want to uh, to build it to connect it and then to maybe do a few more things because this is already going to take um, a bunch of time from this episode yeah so um, after I check that the connection to the goods factory works I'm going to remove the unnecessary uh, truck segments now next step of the process is of course uh, creating the main line and then extending the connections to the station so a few things here to note uh, first we have to wait for the auto save of course so i'm first checking out what i did in the previous um, distribution center i think i'm going to do things a little bit different here because i started there with uh, different plans different assumptions and one of the things that i realized with the later changes to the passenger stations is that if i extend out uh, the, the most outside of the of connections and then try to take the inside branch from it it uh, causes me problems because it lowers my speed in the where the switch is created and now you will see that i actually extended the outside branch first then deleted it to almost the last segment to the main line and then from there i extended to the inter in inside of the two trucks and from that i extended the outside branch and it connects uh, better i think it also looks visually it looks better as well i'm going to do the same here although that's uh soon i'm going to realize that that's a mistake when i go to the other side but you know i i do these things and then i forget and then i remember but it's too late so this one is going to stay like that uh, but you will see what i do on the other side uh, and i think the last three i have to connect now so in this case i yeah extended first the inside one and then the outside one which is actually the proper thing to do uh, in everything but the most outside two that i connected first because there the the turn is um i don't know maybe too sharp or or something like that it's just the game decides to to lower the speed on the switch which is undesirable behavior for me i don't know if i that's pretty straightforward for me but yeah <laughs> i guess i have to mention it so yeah, it uh, seems like I'm going to have a lot of space for connections here, which is good. Uh, that's what I wanted to achieve. So here I'm opening the mainline connection to Pittsburgh. I'm going to uh, make sure that it doesn't look terrible. With the M and N keys, by the way, for anyone who is wondering. So uh, extending the, the second uh, track as well. And this one was uh, pretty fast, very quick. I think it looks super nice as well, well with a small exception which I'm going to uh, try to fix right now so yeah I will have to delete it and then extend it again so that it uh, connects without any bumps and without the, the truck going on top of the other one or any anything like that which just looks ugly and there we go that one is connected it looks uh, very nice I would say yeah I'm just checking visually how uh, everything looks and that was the quality assurance <laughs> process here uh, yeah so i'm checking how much i need uh, what length to extend for the connection because it's going to be similar on this side and you will see me doing that right now so yeah, as you can see first i extend the outside branch then i connect delete uh, almost all the segments connect to the inside and then i extend the the outside one from the inside one and it looks super good doesn't lower my speed and yeah there we go i'm going to do the same first the uh the one on the outside and then the one on the inside so here it works as you can see there is no no speed changes 
so I can just do it uh, much faster, which is nice. And there we go. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> and yeah, connection, only one more is left here. So one another idea here is that I want um, the trains that are leaving to, to, to unblock the section as quickly as possible. So that's why I'm designing it like that and not something else, you know, so because the moment that they pass the switch where they're branching out, the next train is going to see the section as free. So the faster they leave, the better. And of course, the faster means also with a higher speed. So there you go. That's another reason. And now we're moving to the other side where um, in the previous hub, I decided that I'm just going to make the half circle uh, on the turns the trains around with the low speed track. And if you do it to the the shortest half circle that you can, it gives you something like 45 kilometers per hour, I think. And uh, I said to myself, but why I'm still doing that? I mean, I'm going to have faster trains. I have space for the exit. And you can see here that uh, gives me 49. And I thought to myself, why don't I uh, make it 60, for example, to make them uh, live faster? Why not? And then I was like, well, I can do it even more and let's find an arbitrary number. And that number, of course, is going to be 69 because it's just a beautiful number. And there you go, 69. It's going to be uh, the number for for the trains here, for their speed. One more thing. In the previous uh, hub, as you know, I chose to do uh, bridges, but they absolutely don't make sense in a setup like that. And you will see very soon that I realized that, that I can actually do the same thing and actually much more compact, much more reasonable with tunnels. Going under the hub itself, and you're seeing me starting to uh, to build it right now. Very soon I'm going to realize something even better, something super nice, that if I just use the diagonal of the hub for my rail lines, they can actually stack next to each other and to be one uh, tunnel for both, and it's going to look super nice. So here first I'm trying to see, okay, if I have a tunnel, where the tunnel is going to come out, yeah, that doesn't look good. I don't see how it's going to work, obviously. And very soon I'm going to have the light bulb on top of my head with the idea of, yeah, so how much space do I need? Am I going to be able to have a tunnel there without extending, without making the connection too much uh, forward because that's going to shorten up my possibilities for connecting to the other main line. I'm coming here to check. It takes a very, very long with the bridges and I'm like, well, I can do the same, but on the diagonal of the building, come out on the other side and connect super quickly to the other station. And there you go. Now is what, exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. So first I decided that I need to have the tunnel on the other side ready so that the game can snap to it. And this is what I'm going to do here. I'm just measuring what is the the minimum tunnel height that I need, uh, which is going to go under the hub. And yeah, there you go. I'm going to put it here as well. As you can see, I'm doing exactly the same thing. And there you go. That's how it looks. So uh, initially here, I'm like, uh, OK, but there is too steep at exactly at the end before I join, before I go under the hub. There is a very big inclination and I didn't like that. On top of everything, the game kept uh, lowering the speed just before the tunnel, uh, maybe because of how the algorithm works and I didn't like that. So you will see me, you will see me first trying to fix the, um, the inclination here so that it's kind of constant and not to have a big, a big, um, a small section at the end, which has a very steep uh, going down part. And on top of uh, so one of the reasons for that is also because when the trains come from the other side, they're going to have to do the same and that's undesirable. So I and also unrealistic, obviously. And there you go. There is your uh, diagonal. I decided to just put it from here to the other end. And it looks super nice. And we put the parallel one as well. So now we have both of them. 
under the station, which is super nice. I'm going to delete uh, the majority of this uh, circle. Yeah, the game is like doing crazy stuff. That's. Uh, I'm curious why they didn't like uh, add a button or some option to increase the radius of turns like that. That would have been very helpful. And yeah, uh, it looks ugly, so I will decide that I will have to do it myself. I also make a few um, calculations here, so I think below the building is at minus 7 and I'm starting at 12 meters, so there's 19 meters that I have to um, go down and in the other direction to come up. So I decided that uh, in the middle, obviously, I have to be in the middle between 12 and minus 7, which is uh, 4, I think. And yeah. So I'm, you are going to see that I put this at 4 meters uh, of depth and after that, when I connect it, it looks super nice. I also have to kind of trick the game here by increasing the speeds uh, of the turn so that when I build the tunnel, when it lowers it, it goes to 69 and not below. You know, these are things are not super important, but I think they kind of are, at least they are for me, because in the long term, turn is going to make the the trains faster especially considering that these are going to be long trains and yeah a little uh, auto save here we have to wait and after that i'm going to be finishing this up exactly the way that i describe it yeah a little bit more destruction construction you see 66 now it's 68 so now i'm going to see again what's going on 68 okay go to 71 and then connect and now it's at 69 and i do like it i think this is the last version yeah because i'm now extending the other um the opposite direction rail of course the game does uh, crazy stuff so i will have to do it piece by piece so yeah i decided that uh this connection is doesn't have to be uh much faster than the speed of the turn obviously so i have to connect it uh very fast yeah here i'm playing around a little bit with the um, high speed uh, rail so I, I I realized that uh, I'm not going to get much speed here even if I extend it like this that you see right now so I, I prefer to just bring it uh, as close as possible and then have as short as uh, connection to the main line and that's going to give me uh, more options for connecting to the Nashville to Pittsburgh main line after that I actually ended up not being able to reach 120 kilometers, unfortunately, but this might change in the future or I might not care that much because I think it's at uh, 111 right now. So yeah, you will see me testing a few options here and now I'm going to extend um, the connection there and you will see that uh, I don't have a ton of space. I wish I maybe turned the station like I said in the beginning a little bit more, but it is what it is now and yeah so i'm going to come to the middle of the circle to half length of the circle and then i'm going to try to connect from there uh, trying to keep at least 69 or 70 kilometers per hour and there you go it looks uh, super nice i would say now maybe a little bit forward and then i think i will go a little bit <laughs> backwards as well because i couldn't reach 69 yeah just a little segment there there you go and it connects with 69 beautiful and there you go connection there is ready now we can extend yeah from the first possible moment and you will see that i reach something like 110 kilometers i think it's here which is reasonable uh, just before the station um i might decide to fix this line a little bit but i might not as well we'll see what's going on in the future maybe i will not care that much it's not the biggest of deals anyway um i liked how uh, it was placed i'm going to extend the parallel track as well actually it looks super nice here in the connection and on the other side as well and there you go we have our connection to the nashville pittsburgh area now last point of connections to the distribution hub is connecting this station that we built in the last episode for the construction material plant and yeah i, I was initially 
thinking that this is going to be my main line, but then it doesn't make sense much, to be honest. So uh, it's not It's going to be the last one I'm going to connect. So I'm going to extend here um, a branch out of the main line between Chicago and Pittsburgh, just after the connection uh, that I just built with Nashville. And from there, you will see, I am thinking for a while what exactly is going to be there. I was initially thinking a tunnel, but I ended up having a bridge and you will see very soon why. So here, yeah, we are just extending, a, we're branching out from the main line. Uh, it didn't matter much here um, exactly how it's going to look uh, as long as it's not taking too much uh, time for the trains to leave, you know, so that they don't block the, the junction there. And yeah, here I'm, uh, of course, fighting with the game a little bit <laughs> to let me do what I want. And I had to extend it from uh, from the main line instead. And now here, as you can see, I'm going to try to connect to the cargo station there and try to build a tunnel. But it definitely didn't look nice. Not only that, uh, it doesn't make sense because the main line is already a little bit um, deeper than the land around it. So a bridge would be much easier to build here. And it's actually going to look better as well. So tunnels are for under mountains or under hubs, as you saw. But bridges in general is what uh, we build even in, the, in real life. And there you go. There is our bridge. Now, of course, it's not going to be that one. I was just like having a, a little bit of fun there. Uh, but yeah, there is a few things I already promised and that's going to be a rule. Bridges cannot have curves. <laughs> oh my god, write this down somewhere as a meme. Uh, but yeah, they have to be straight and yeah, so I built it. Yeah, but then I, of course I, I uh, didn't build it properly. Uh, yeah, I have to see exactly what the, um, the direction has to be. And then for, for a few attempts, I didn't like where the pillars are. They were too close to the main line. And then at the end, I did. So I'm going to build that one. And then I'm going to connect. And there you go. We have the connection from this side. And you're going to see me connecting it on the other side as well. There will be, um, before that, um, a few attempts. Because it doesn't connect very well. It doesn't look nice because it's uh, trying to go up immediately. So yeah, I built the second rail there uh, going to Pittsburgh, although I might not use it, just to make sure that here I can connect um, to both rails, to both directions uh, without having any problems. Yeah, so I would delete it now and then come closer to the station and then try to, to fix up the connections. You will see me doing this right now. There you go. The game is sometimes very weird, but at least at the end I managed to do it uh, without making it uh, ugly. And there you go. A few attempts. And yeah, we are there. And the connection on this side as well. And it looks amazing. Okay, we are almost done. Uh, obviously, we have to the connections on, on this side and uh, they're going to follow the same pattern at least i have already done this one so it's going to be a little bit faster now and the game is being weird again extending to 69 i have to go down now we have already done that so uh, that might not be that interesting but at least uh, it's going to be faster now because i'm i know what i have to do to uh, to get there and you see again it's 68 i mean it's it's just 66 but the point here was first to find uh, the depth and then to connect there you go i mean maybe I, I think i didn't realize that it lowered my speed again here uh and maybe i didn't care because that that's already what uh, an hour and something building these connections have to extend there so that i can uh, connect with a uh, speed of 69 and there you go it's connected, so obviously the last two steps would be connecting to Chicago and connecting to um, Detroit. Obviously the Chicago connection is going to be the main line. Uh, the game offered me not a perfect solution, uh, you know, because the game tries to 
uh, the, I guess that the, the way that it was is written in code, it tries to like give you some turns in the beginning and at the end, and then gives you a fast speed in the middle, which probably makes sense if you're connecting something like 10 kilometers of a line, because you have enough space to to reach the speed that it gives you. Uh, but no, uh, that's not what's desired here because I have what a kilometer maybe. Um, and yeah, I had to build it myself. I started with some arbitrary number, it was 200 kilometers per hour, but uh, I think it worked very nicely. I think I like it very much, how it ended up being. And now I uh, understood here that my turn towards Detroit is going to take a lot of space if I want it to be fast. And you will see that I'm doing exactly this uh, with a high speed rail and 120 kilometers per hour because, you know, trains have to be fast. So yeah, extending it uh, with the second uh, rail for the other direction as well. Continuing with 120. And yeah, it looks good. And once more up to there and there from here, I'm going to follow what the game is going to suggest for me after removing the unnecessary extensions there. And there you go. It looks pretty, pretty good. I think I'm going to change the app to the normal track. And that's it. It looks awesome, I think. I consider it being nice, at least. And I hope you also like it. I definitely do. It looks... Uh, <laughs> I think it looks very nice, actually, with these uh, slow turns. Anyway, here I have to branch out to go to Chicago. I decided to see what uh, the game is going to offer me. Of course, I didn't like it for the same reason. So let's finish this connection here. And then I decided that uh, it doesn't matter if we just... It's not going to be a problem if we just extend another connection to this main line here, as long as it gives me 120 kilometers. And there you go. 120 from the second attempt. And let's build the auto track as well. And it's done. And that's it. It took a while. I do love how it looks though. I think it's... Uh, I actually think it's better than before. This can be improved a little bit, maybe. Uh, but there will be maybe at least two more distribution centers to experiment with. And overall, I think it was uh, done pretty, pretty well. Uh, ah, yeah, of course. Um, last step here is to just create a, a road and connect the goods factory to the distribution hub. And one last quick view and we are done. Okay, guys, very quickly after we finished with uh, our setup, I want to actually fix a connection that we need to have with the other distribution center and you will see me doing that exactly so first i deleted the old connections now i'm going to try to connect here with uh, the speed of choice which you already know is the beautiful number 69 there is a small problem here as well unfortunately and that is that uh, that bridge there with uh, created with the mod is going to prevent me from doing the connection properly as you can see i already put the diagonal under the uh, the hub so there is a specific reason why i'm doing that i um, realized that my exit here with the bridge is uh, not good for what i want to build next and that's the connection with nashville meaning that the bridge connection is extending my exit from the from the ICDC and the connection to the main line too far and that pushes the other connection to Nashville super far as well and I want to make it more compact so the tunnel is definitely going to help with that and yeah there you go tunnel is ready now uh, let's do the other side here is a little bit more tricky because of uh, we're not having the same radius for the exit uh, and going to take a while for me to uh, to get there to make it work yeah, i have to make it a little bit deeper so that it's not so ugly as you can see i'm uh, pressing the n and m 
keys with the shift pressed as well at the same time for anyone who wants to know the shift gives you uh more control over the the steps and yeah there you go it's not amazing but it is something that i can work with and yeah after a few more attempts you will see me uh, doing it in a way that i'm satisfied with the result and yeah so considering that there will be communication and exchange of goods communication is probably not the the good um uh, choice of word here but there will be exchange of goods between the two distribution centers uh this connection was uh, very important um for me and there will be something funny happening with this train just uh just wait to see yeah here i have to uh, delete the rails and for some reason it also deleted my uh, road i think it's because they had a um, connection uh, but that's not a problem i will rebuild it later myself so yeah, using the Bulldozer Plus again here to delete everything that I don't need. Uh, I also had a crash here, I think because of the mod. Um, I don't know why, but there was a crash. Fortunately, I had a crash save. And I managed to start from where I finished before the crash. So just uh, connecting here the rails from before. Uh, have to extend these branches and make the connections here with uh, trying to get them to 69 of course uh, here it really doesn't matter it's just as long as they have the speed is good enough mm, now uh, I so may, maybe some of you are going to ask why do you need to do all of this there there could have there is already a connection established between Nashville and SEDC yes that's correct but it ends on the right of uh, so coming from Panama on the right of the distribution center and there is already a lot of lines that are using the terminals there and pretty much no one using the ones on the other side from coming from the other direction and first of all i expect there to be some traffic certainly between the two so i prefer to stay on the side of the sea uh, instead of using the other one that is already having a lot of lines and a lot of traffic so that we can use the capacity that we have in the distribution center. So here I'm taking measurement to see how, how long it took me. Uh, I will uh, make the decision to remove these connections because they are also too long. Unnecessary long, I mean, they are for a reason. I had an, another idea initially to, uh, to give them like space for, for trains to... To be able to stack before the station but actually that doesn't work as i have explained in the video uh, for building the distribution center for some reason and yeah i am uh, going to make all the connections on the right side uh, for incoming traffic right now uh, it's going to take at least 100 meters or maybe it was even more or less than uh, previously and that's going to give me uh, some space to uh, to connect to nashville on this side as well uh, interesting also I think it is very possible to have other traffic coming not only from the new distribution center but from the other distribution centers or if I have something in the middle I, I kind of doubt it though but uh, many things are possible and I, I want to, to use and to have connections that connect to the site of the southeast distribution center which is um, on the side of the sea so yeah, um, that's it. It's going to take me some time now to just make these connections. And other than that, um, a small announcement. I don't know if I already said it, but I'm going to repeat myself if I did. I am going to um, add the mod for increasing the production of industries by two. A few reasons for that. Um, I realized that, believe it or not, we are already using almost all of the oil production that is on the map. And we have, I think I have not even satisfied uh, the demands of all the cities that I currently have, let alone the ones that I have not even connected yet. So I think if I double up the production of everything, that's going to save me uh, a lot of trouble of placing a 
huge amount of uh, new industries on the map and yeah we just have to increase the capacity of the lines and everything is going to be just fine i will probably have to add some in the future uh but for now this is going to do the, the work uh yeah i i decided here to cut a little bit more the tunnel so that it uh, can connect faster faster no in a shorter uh, connection to the main road and let's see what uh, it's going to end up being i think i like it i wish there was a way for me to do it even um fast uh, shorter connection meaning uh, maybe even where the switch of the incoming traffic connection is but it is what it is you know uh if i had the tunnels like in the other one maybe uh it could have worked uh, but i don't i didn't want to redo the other side as well and do a tunnel for for it as well also considering that there is some connections there on top of the bridge and things like that and no it's not necessary it actually kind of looks nice how it is right now so i i don't think i want to do that and yeah now i'm going to start uh removing this old connection by the way that was not used by anything i just built it there because i thought i'm going to use it but i didn't use it in the end so uh it's not necessary for new orleans and nashville to be connected considering that there is nothing passing through there now but the scdc being connected to the northeast distribution center certainly is important here i'm going to try to see if i can uh, achieve a better uh, connection to the tunnel there even even not using the diagonal i was considering but it cannot be better than what it already is so i'm abandoning the idea very quickly and i'm just going to extend my rail here uh, pretty quickly trying to get to 120 kilometers per hour uh, looks pretty good yeah let's press the blue button now and let's do this connection to check how it is looks good as well and now i have to see where i'm going to get with even the fastest speed 300 remove everything here on the way and just finish it up and that's it i just have to uh, place the signals of course they're necessary fix the ones that i deleted and that's it i like it a lot hope you like it as well okay guys now that the new changes for the scdc are ready let's very quickly finish up the road here that we had previously as well actually now it's going to be even better because of the bridge i couldn't have it on the place i wanted to before but now we can have it on top on the whole distribution center like that let's also connect it here to the port awesome maybe we can just upgrade or downgrade in this case i guess it is and everything is connected prop let's play the game oh it feels good to play the game doing so many changes now one thing that i really really want to change is the Florida con mat delivery. Why? Well, we have here Panama delivering its uh, construction material by train. And I'm not sure if this is actually the best solution. Because this train does not take like... It, it, it takes... What is this? Like 300 meters? What is it? uh let me check okay it's 600 meters yeah between the two stations it's it's just stupid at this point okay tampa i guess i can understand tampa to an extent or i can actually add tampa to some other distribution send, uh, distribution line on top of everything this is just sad for 20 construction material to set up a whole train and everything you know so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver it by trucks because we are right there, you know, it's no distance, 
more or less. Now, the deal here is we have our cargo on this side. Our station is covering some of it and I don't know why I decided to put this one here. Um, I think I'm going to start with uh, first pausing, deleting and then adding it right here. I think it makes much more sense. Oh yeah. Okay. Because if we continue growing, it's going to grow that way. So we're going to have it covered. Okay. So we have a problem because we don't have the trucks there. Mm. Yeah, the problem is that now you have a train. That's all right. It's all right to have a train, but mm. let's manage vehicles. Let's sell you and see if we can have no, because now it considers it a tram station, right? Okay. What do I want to do here? I want to maybe come from here and make the circle there. So I have to just upgrade these two. And there you go. That's it. Very nice. Or maybe the opposite, actually. Yeah, let's do the opposite. What if... Oh, wait, no. Let's click here and put you in the other terminal. Then what? Yeah, that makes more sense. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, now I only have to buy... Actually, that's curious, right? So we have in Panama... 170 demand hmm. at least half i think is covered by this station so let's try to get at least 90 or something like that buy vehicles and let's buy this beauty here uh, construction materials is exactly this one so let's buy it and add it to panama con drop and we have 67 okay Problem is that we have two or four. Well, in this case, it's going to be replaced by a four. And we're going to 134 and that's perfect. It's going to not make money or maybe even lose some, but what can you do, man? And that's it. Now, the other side of the equation is going to be here, of course. Okay, so this road has to connect from here to here definitely not like that here we can have a bridge oh perfect okay, maybe maybe a little bit lower of a bridge okay is it good i think so okay nice now <laughs> let's do the was it the golden gate uh no let's do this one cool and I think I like it with one exception. And the exception is that this bridge is just too long. Which means I'm going to place it and then delete all of this. And yeah, this segment here as well. And now let's see what's going to happen. we take it again from here and go there yeah you see that's exactly what i was thinking we don't need such a long bridge doesn't make any sense and there you go now that makes sense and it looks very nice as well awesome now we need a station let's get ourselves a station what uh, this is not the proper menu. Cargo station. Cool. Uh, a road connection B as well. So we're going to place it here somewhere. With platforms on the right. How many platforms? One platform? We're going to have only one line here, I think. Well, I can have more in the future. But that doesn't mean I cannot add more platforms in the future, of course. And we can put it as far as we want but i think i'll put it right next here yeah like this okay okay let's remove this and add it like that okay 
And now, am I going to be able to connect properly here? Oh yeah. Good. Looks nice. Oh, oh, that of course, I forgot to extend you. Ah, out safe. The perfect moment, right? You could not have done this while I was moving around. Come on, come on, come on. Today, please. Man, it takes a ton of time to save the game. Okay, and let's put two cargo buildings. Because we, we might need them. And there you go. Looks very nice. Now, line from here to here. This is going to be cargo truck. Uh, SCDC. No, just Panama. Panama. And then it's con mat delivery. And since it's con mat, I think this is the color. Here we're going to do full load. We're going to load construction material. This is going to be SCDC truck. SCDC cargo truck. Cargo? No, oh, SCDC. SCDC truck. <laughs> okay. Uh, and in Panama Central, okay, we have it open. Where and what are we doing here? Ah, not you, but you. Conmat drop and Conmat delivery. Okay, you can go to one. Why not? Okay. And also, I think I should give you the alternatives. Why not? And we are doing great. Now, we need 170. Let's come here, buy ourselves some vehicles. Cargo type. No, not type. I want capacity. And this is construction material. And it's great. Buy one and put it on Conmat delivery. Cool. Uh, of course, I was dumb enough to remove it. Okay, 33, I said 170, right? So that means 6, 6, yeah. So that's copy and then copy and copy. 199. Eh, okay, because it's going to be less than, than the current demand if I sell one of the trucks and I do not want that. Amazing. Yeah, it looks great. Cool. And that means this baby here. Oh, it's waiting. Uh, we are going to have to lose this. Uh, let's click here. Manage vehicles. And sell this train. And remove you as well. And just like that, we removed one more train. From the rails. And that's always a good thing. Okay, let's play the game now. Let's check our new trucks. going to pick up the construction material um actually i don't think they will find any uh this moment because we uh don't have anything delivered to it yet but eventually that's gonna happen as well oh my god look at how beautiful this is with all these trains fuel delivery fuel delivery fuel delivery and fuel delivery awesome Beautiful. Okay. Ah, this procession of trucks here. What is that? East Coast Conmat delivery. Okay. Did I tell these guys to wait indefinitely? No, indefinitely, guys. Yeah. Oh, is that? No, it's not. Conmat delivery, okay. But 
Can someone deliver construction material here? That would be nice. Maybe it's on the road. On the road again. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, we're at 216. Shipping 300. 268. Maybe we can increase these guys here. We want... Uh, no way, this is stone. Okay. Uh, I always forget, but let's say it's this one. Two here and two here. 317. Sounds good. Let's see what's going to happen. Waiting. Maybe this one as well. Ooh, 211. That's, that can probably be increased as well. Charts. Okay. Actually, it's very curious where these trains are, right? Somewhere down the line. Moving, getting to their destinations. Okay, everything looks good so far. I think I might buy PTCDC. Yeah, so this is going to. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Unbelievable. So they're using my new. My new. Uh, rail. Oh my god. Yeah, this. This. I didn't even know that this is possible. But yeah, of course it makes sense. Interesting if I can prevent this from happening somehow. I think I can though. Unless this connects here. But that means that it cannot go there, which is a bad idea. No, that's fine, that's fine. The problem is that they were supposed to do something else. And I already forgot, maybe from here? Yeah, but if that makes sense, I will let them do it. Because this line is eventually going to bring the material here. So that it doesn't matter right now. Okay, I, do <laughs> I don't mind, to be honest. <laughs> it's it's okay. Oh. Um, well, speaking of that, should I, should I increase it? I mean... Oh, we don't have stone, actually. Look at that. Right? And there is plenty of stone here. Is this stone? Yes, that's the stone. Yeah, maybe maybe that's the problem that um, I just increased the rate on the stone deliveries and now we're going to start to get more stone here. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, I think that's, that's that. I think that's all for today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode and the new setup for the Northeast Distribution Center. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Also, share your thoughts in the comment section. And I will hope to see you in the next episode.